All right, what's up, guys? This is David, AK Reverse Long. I'm here with Macro Jabber on the new podcast that we're doing, the second podcast uh, that I have. I had the Friendly Bear podcast, now Macro Jabber podcast. So, like, Macro Jabber podcast covers everything. We're covering news, we're covering finance, currency, everything going on in the world. And what better stuff going on in the world than, like, stuff in L.A.? You know, we're in Los Angeles. Yep. This is hardcore Los Angeles, and I... I'm a big fan of Crit Mac over here. I'm here. And so, yeah, I reached out to Crit Mac, and, and now he got on the podcast. You know, got, Oh, got yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, so Crit Mac is fresh out of the, the, the system over here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, reached out and get him on and see his story. You know, he's a L.A. Uh, icon over here. So I am. Uh, we got the, the Crit Mac. Oh, Macro Driver is blue, like the, like the Crit Mac colors. You oh, know? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Right there. So, um, yeah, you see that right Macro there. So Jabber. So yeah, Crip Mac. All How right, so, so tell us. I was looking at your other podcast. Yeah. About all those fades in the county jail. Oh yeah, look at these knuckles. They're so, scarred. See them teeth marks? Look at that. Teeth marks. Oh, look, I, at, yeah. look at those wow, teeth man, marks. That's some crazy teeth. Yeah. <laughs> so got any teeth marks in your hand? I used to, you know, I I I, I used to, you know, when I used you were to younger. do boxing and stuff. When yeah, you were when younger. younger. Yeah. My, my dad was a boxer. Oh, you know? shout out like, your pop. Shout yeah, out your yeah, pop for sure. Great boxer from Florida. From, he's from Iran, so oh, the Persians, oh, Iran. You know, the Persians they, yeah. they box. So oh yeah, just like yeah, that's cool. yeah, yeah. So, but um, but okay. So tell us, how many phase was it? Like I saw like uh, the county jail. Uh, county jail was uh shit. That that wasn't that 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 many phase. It was only ten phase. Only ten phase. Only ten. So you you can never like, turn them down, right? No, you can't. When you gang bang, you can't turn down a phase. So. <laughs> you consider a custer. So what? What? So what is a custer? You custer is a buster with a C because I'm a motherfucking crip. <laughs> That's a custer. A custer. So yeah. so if someone turns down a fade. They're like, oh, I'm t I'm tired today. No, they're a custer. It. A custer. A custer. <laughs> we don't do. They no, can't turn it no, down. No custer shit. So so what, so it's, what, it's about like character and integrity. It's about your reputation and your name, and what you stand for. That's what it's about. Okay, so then that's why you, you you know someone challenges you, you take up. The yeah, challenge. you take you take that squabble, you take it like a man. So see, these yeah. days, why don't people just take it like a man more? Because they're custers, they're scared, they're scared. So what should people do? You know? Well, they should do like myself, like I'm doing. I have a celebrity boxing match myself in Costco, 100. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. got a celebrity boxing fight with Cud in a few weeks. So pretty much what we're trying to promote now is put the guns down. And put your hands up, fight like a man. You ain't gotta kill nobody, just squabble. Yeah. Get a good fade, get it cracking. So a squabble, okay, so I'm originally from Miami, so this is like LA slang over here. So I was like, what is a squabble? So squabble is like a fight. Like so you squabble is a up. fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah you, 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 you squabble, squabble up. Yeah, yeah. You squabble up. So, so uh, I noticed before you went to jail, okay, so you just got out of jail, right? Right. So, so how did that go? So you, you spent like six months in there? How long was it? 11 months. 11 months, wow. So, how did you prepare? Because I remember a, a while ago you were doing like the, the workouts. Yeah, to prepare, go outside jail. You just work out, uh, get your workout in, man. But people that don't go fight jail just work out also. Program time slot. Program time slot. So what is the program time slot? It just consists of a, of a workout program, a technique, pretty much. It's a workout. A workout. Okay. So yeah. Is everything like five? So the five thing comes because you come from the five. I'm from 55th Street. 55th Street. That's so right. I'm a nickel. I'm a nifty nickel. I'm a shiny nickel. Yeah. So so the slang. So you just grew up saying all this slang because like you have. Well, pretty much that's how that's how the, that's how the homeboys talk. Got a few homeboys from my hood that sound just like that to say the same thing. I just uh, I just I just mastered the nifty fifty talk. Yeah. So. So yeah. like when you're in your neighborhood, uh, you guys understand each other like a hell coach? yeah, hell yeah. How many know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> they know. So, all right. So how was it like growing up? Well, shit. I mean, cause it, uh, out out in LA, it's just it was, it was just the the fighting, the gang of fighting since I was younger. So just fighting. a lot of phase, a lot of phase. Yeah. So when fading you're saying... is about pretty much it's, it's showing a man you're not weak. Uh -huh. You know, so that, that you go, you, you go stand up for yourself. Yeah. No custard shit. No custards. So, uh -huh. so in in the jail, like, is, is it like another level to it? Like, you know, in jail, you gotta fight, or you're a custer. Yeah, cause it, cause in the real world, you know, you don't gotta see people every day. You can avoid certain people. In the jail, you force. There, every everybody day. there. Yeah, everybody's there. You see everybody. Yeah. So, so how do how yeah, do you yeah, handle yeah, that? Yeah, Just, yeah, uh, your worst enemies and your closest homeboys. So do you be, so do some. 
living situations force you to like work out and you know do things with your oh enemies. yeah you squabble a motherfucker my size or uh, out up there mr lovejoy size yeah, he's huge yeah yeah you 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 gonna you gonna learn to protect your motherfucking self, <laughs> but they're gonna put yeah. you out and put jalapenos in your asshole. Yeah. So what is this jalapeno? Oh, thing? that's the truth. I'm gonna keep it fifty fifth straight with you. You go through jail and you don't fight. Oh yeah, they'll violate your asshole. Oh man, that's, that's yeah. Crazy. You gotta fight back. It don't matter if you lose. Swing, throw some yeah, punches. Yeah. But see, you know, I grew up fighting, right? And it's like, yeah, what's you, the worst you thing fight that like, the, like, you like, like, like a New York brawler, don't you? Uh, Miami brawler. I'm from oh, Miami. See, Virginia, but I'm so. saying that, you know, like a New yeah. York, because they, they, on hood, they fight like that also. Now you always got to be working out. So these days. You got to work out, keep their strength. So the kids, so growing up, you did you play any sports? You, uh, no, I didn't, do, I didn't do any sports stuff like that. Uh, no. No, you could have been in the NFL, you know? Been like I could have I could have did some shit like that. I, you know, I didn't. I chose the gangbang shit. So the gangbang. So how does it go? Because people don't understand gangbanging like from other states. Like in Miami, there's no. I didn't really see gangs out there. They have like people just doing their own thing. So like, how did they hear? You're just well, born pretty into much, it. No, pretty much. It's where it's whatever area you lived in. All right, consider it. But I was uh, when I was younger. I stayed in Ontario, California, right? Uh -huh. Now as a teenager, I went to school and uh, I was in Texas two years, from 14 yeah, yeah. years old to 16 years old. When I came back, when I came back to California, I moved on 45th Street in Western. That's the 40 Crips hood. I lived there with my auntie right there. And 55th Street is right up the street. And I used to hang out over there in the rolling 60s hood up the street also. But 55th Street is right up the street from where auntie stays. So I ended up, at, at, at the end of everything, ended up seeing from that hood over there. It's just right up the street. Yeah. So Two lights down, just... Yeah, so the Rolling Sixties, isn't that where Nipsey Hussle's from? That's where Nipsey Hussle's from, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, did you ever meet him? Or? I did, I, I knew Nipsey Hussle, I worked at his shop, me and Sloss and Bruce used to clean up outside his oh, shop. Wow. And Nip and Black Sam would give us some increments, I remember Boy Scooby used to buy me tacos from Master Burger. So, Master Burger, that's right. Oh, yeah, it's a great burger it. joint, you will love Master Burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Order ahead of time. Yeah, so, so, are the, are the... The Crips all like united is like because there's different neighborhoods. No, no, no. We we we, we Crips, but we hate Crips. So like the Nipsey's Crips, the '60s is cool with the Fifty Fifths. Oh yeah, we neighborhood Crips. Yeah, boys. yeah. They're my homeboys and my King Five Fingers boys. They're my homeboys. So King Five Fingers, uh, who's King Five Fingers? Oh, he's he's a good man. King Five Fingers is uh, is, uh he does management. He's a good man. He's King Five Fingers. Ah, okay, okay. Because you have a like a nickname for everybody. Yeah, know? King Five Fingers. Yeah. So where did your nickname come from, Crip Mac? I got put on the hood. Uh, I got put on the hood, and uh, the Crip Mac that brought me to the hood was a Crip Mac. So when you get put on the hood, when you get jumped in, you get beat up, you get put on the hood. Whatever homeboy brought you to the hood, that that that's normally the name you go under. So Cal was already a Crip Mac, so they made me a Crip Mac under Cal. Oh, so he's like a big brother or like a, fa like a, I want to say. No, he's like just a Crip, just a Crip that been from the hood longer than me. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing uh, spectacular. Because, you know, <laughs> like. In, in just a Crip that brought me and got me put on. I got Years, you. years, years, years ago. So a put on is just like you just go It's fight. a beat down. No, it's a beat down. You're going to hit that baby snaps 55th Street Alley. Oh, the alley, okay. The yeah, yeah. You heard about the 55th Street I saw Street you, alley. you did a podcast there. You, yeah, you, the 55th Street you Alley. You the guy with the, yeah. the camera. Yeah, the cameraman. <laughs> he, he, he liked it. He, he, he tried to fight, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to respect yeah, him yeah, fighting. Yeah. He had heart. You oh, said, yeah. he had a lot of heart. You know, that's how cameramen supposed to do their thing. But, yeah, pretty much the, uh, the alley's where you get put on at. You get started in that, in, that, in that alley, not just any alley. No, that you got to get put on in that alley. In that that's alley. That's 55th Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the 55th Street. I remember alley. you were on a podcast in No Jumper and Kazumi was there. You said Kazumi should put a tent in the alley. Oh, yeah. She wants to get fucked in her ass in the alley. She should definitely have an alley, <laughs> right? A blue tent right in the alley. So she puts a tent in the alley because she was doing all types of crazy things. With That's that. what she wants to do. She wants to have sex in that 55th Street. <laughs> and baby snaps alley. Oh. <laughs> so, so that alley, what go, it's, it's just like the same thing. It's, it's a legendary alley for so many years. It's a legendary alley. It's the 55th Street alley. It's the baby snaps alley. <laughs> so the alley, um, do you visit all the time and go and memory like you know? Yeah, well, yeah, that, yeah, the alley, the, yeah, the alley is in the hood. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, so it's it's right there. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, so so Crip Mac. Okay, so how did you get in meet the Orgasmal Breaks guys? Is that, that, is that what really got you viral? Orgasmal oh, Breaks. What is that exactly? So the yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. what they used to call them. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, I did uh, No Jumpers, T5, I met them. Adam22 introduced me to Andrew. Adam texted me uh, like, a, like a year and a half ago on, on my iPhone. And he told me, hey, I got a guy that wants to, uh, you know, he wants to do a podcast. He wants to do an interview and some different stuff. I said, all right. 
So yeah, I, I tapped in with him at the time. We made it happen. Yeah. Yeah, Andrew, Andrew Channel so, 5. So what is your favorite part about going viral? Because you, you had this opportunity now I to mean, see the homeless. Yeah, I love the homeless. You got to realize every, everybody, um, how you got to look at it, man. Um, everybody has somebody that's cracked out in their family or needs some help. And uh, and pretty much, hey, I want to let people know, hey, I can feed you guys to help you with a little increments. But I want to let y'all know, hey, everything going to see all right, huh? So, so have you always been like this? Like, you know, I've you had a, I've people? had a given heart. My mama has a given heart. Yeah, my yeah, mama yeah. give you her last fucking penny out of her purse and starve a whole week straight until she gets paid. I told her she needs to stop doing that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's the type of woman she is. Yeah, no. So, so like people, she has a great heart. Mama yeah, Bear does. People, Shout out Mama Bear. Shout out Mama Bear for sure. Mm. Um, so with, with you, like people like to see you. Like they're like trying to understand. Okay, he's a guy that takes turns down no fades. Goes in the alley, beat, cause destruction, beat people up in the county jail. Everything. Yeah. But then you, you give back to the homeless. You I the love kids. the homeless. I love the people, and I want to give kids the, the, a, a good chance in life. You know what I'm saying? I, want to tell, I don't want to tell kids, hey, you know, as soon as you, you, know, as soon as you, you, you get to, to start doing everything, no, don't gangbang. Gangbang is a rough life. Don't do it. You know, you give kids the option of what they want to do. Uh, they could do sports like myself, uh, like boxing with myself, like me and you met Mr. Lovejoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. They could do boxing like that. They could do some football, uh, different something. They could do some basketball, some baseball. In my King Five Fingers voice, play a different kind of ball. Who? So, so what is your favorite <laughs> sport? What's your favorite sport? Um, well, shit, I, I like a little football. Football? Falcons, Falcons fan. The Atlanta Falcons, okay. I like the Atlanta Falcons. They're yeah, a terrible yeah. team, aren't they? Yeah, so so, you, so if you were to if you were to start all over again, you're telling the kids to play sports. Would you uh, play sports? You could have. You're a big dude. You know, you could be a boxer. I, I probably, I probably well, you are a boxer would have, now. You well, I'm, a boxer. I'm, I'm, I do the celebrity boxing thing, which is cool. But I'm gonna do some more boxing myself. So, so how are you training for the boxing? I work with Mr. Lovejoy uh, every morning. Every morning. Oh man, you gotta see some of those fucking videos, man. This this motherfucker's three hundred and forty pounds. I'm I'm six two two eighty. I'm kind of big myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's three forty, uh, man. Damn. It's a lot of weight. So in the, so when you when you're sparring, you're fighting with him. He pushes you back. All that weight tires you out. But you gotta realize in the county jail, you'll run into enemy motherfuckers his size, yeah. and you gotta get down with motherfuckers that size. It's it's, 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 it's no sterning nothing down. He can't do that. So, so it's uh, just going to strengthen Who's you? the biggest guy you face in a real, in a real squabble? Oh, my gosh. The biggest guy? Oh, so that I, that's, it's been a few. It's been a few guys. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, like, more than Mr. Lovejoy? More than 340 pounds? Uh, one was bigger than him. Yeah, one was. One was bigger. How much do you think? 400 pounds? Uh, yeah. About 360. 360. About 6'7". And I, I remember oh, on a podcast you were saying one guy they put you up against, he was stretching and he was a professional. Oh, yeah, Jap 5 from Hoover. Yep, Jap 5 from so Hoover. So he was stretching and they, they organized yeah. this, but you didn't know he was a professional. I didn't know Cole was. I heard stories about him. You know, people tell stories all the time. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. Cole was actually a real boxer. Yeah. Oh, hook. Cole was five much five me. Cole put me down on hood. I so, ain't even gonna so lie. How, how did that go? Oh, hook. Cole, I mean, uh, we went at the yard on Hustas. We uh, we squared up and we it wasn't no back and fifth squabble, so I came in on hood. I came in with a couple cut. I was real nifty on hood, but it seemed like he didn't phase cut when he got hit with him. That's when cut hit me right here and right here. It's like pressure points that hit me in the, in the chest. It put me down. I'm trying to get up. Cut didn't let me up. Cut just kept punching me on the floor on hood. Then I get up, cut, we go another round, and after that, shit was over with. So, so where do you guys fight in the in the jail or the prison? Because, like, you know, doesn't the security stop it? I mean, cut, you got to look at it like this, cut. You're going to fight regardless. So they either going to let you fight or it's just more attention. Attention going to get built. And they don't want the attention to get built to where you end up killing a motherfucker yeah, in there. Yeah. So eventually, you're going to have to just get that out the way. And we call it just get that out the way. Say, hey, you from where? Oh, you, you already know what it is. I'm hood. We're going to get that out the way. Get that out the way means pretty much like... And hey, we're going to fight. We're going to get this shit done, done over with. But after it's over with, it's over with most times. On it's over with. So yeah, you, just get that shit out the way. So you just see the guy No again cluster just, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So it's just about like being a man and standing up. It's about up standing for, up. Yeah, what you, what you, you, you gang bang stand up. What you stand for? Yeah, so. so Don't you, do no cluster shit. So the, the gangs, so you, people sign up. They know what they're signing up for. You got to know, well, know what you sign up for. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's it, comes with, it comes with life in prison. It comes with death. And yeah, some people get five minutes like myself, but very few. It comes with different shit. So, like some gangbangers, like for yeah. example, this guy, the, the celebrity guy, is six nine. He signed oh, up to the gang. Oh God, six nine. He Did signed up. Did you mention up. him? 
Oh, I, I'm, That's a Custer. I mean, he's, he's a, a real yeah, he is piece a Custer. of shit. I, I agree. A rainbow agree. hair Custer. He, but you know, I, I always thought he was a Custer. He's the type they put a dress on and fuck him in his ass. Look at his pink hair. Right? Yeah, they definitely will. <laughs> oh yeah, he, but, he, he, yeah. But he signed up and then he wants to take it back. You know, you know, it's like whatever it is, you know, the gangs or whatever. Six nine man. When you sign up for something, so I do like stock trading. And like I, I, I can't take back the trade. If I make the trade, yeah. I can't take I can't get a refund on it. You know no, you mean? can't scam people out of this shit. Yeah, so like, scam well, out of this shit, they'll whoop your ass. You gotta be a man of your word and have, have <laughs> You gotta keep your word like baby snaps. Like baby snaps, you uh -huh. know? So that's one thing I think people like about you. Just, keep my uh, word like baby yeah. snaps. Keep your word. You, uh, you have character. You you care about people. I love people. You're always telling people not to commit suicide. Yeah, don't know? do that shit. You know, it's you're feeding the homeless. It's better days. Like, you know, when, when I spoke to you this morning, yeah, you're like, oh, I like you, man. You, you care about the homeless. I told you that. It, I told you. Yeah. It could, it could, uh, it could happen to anyone, anybody yeah, to be. Yeah, exactly. You know, so, so yeah, yeah you know, it's, uh, so what, what, so now with this, with this newfound, so when did you get like, like famous or five miss? Five miss uh, a couple years ago. I got five miss a couple years ago. It was me and my cat, Mackie Shantae. She's a fat black cat. Did you see the video of her and me? No, I have not. Okay. Yes, yeah, her. Me and her were, were five <laughs> miss years, years ago. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so and then, but like back then, it, it wasn't like this though. Like now, do you, when you go in LA, do people know who you are? Oh, LA? everywhere, everywhere I go. Sometimes Mr. Lovejoy just say hood, just sit in the car. You know, he'll yeah, take yeah, care yeah. of that. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's, it's so much attention. Yeah. You know, so, so much attention. So what is the biggest difference? Now? Like, can you go, like, grocery shopping? And I still go to the grocery store when I want to go to the grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, so what, what, what uh, has anything changed since you got... I mean, I go to the grocery store. I might take about 30 to 50 fucking pictures while I'm in the grocery store. Oh, shit. Me and King Five Figures might yeah, see yeah. going to shop. He might get some stuff uh, from Target or something, right? Yeah. And then I always go get my weights from Target. Uh, we run into some people. We might uh, meet about five to ten to twenty different motherfuckers. Yeah. And they just want pictures. Do you ever get any any uh, because you're you're in, you're a gang? Are you an active gang member? Retired? Or nah, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a crip. I'm a crip. I'm a crip. <laughs> I'm a crip. How many times I gotta say it? Five times. I'm a motherfucking crip. <laughs> so yeah. I'm five minutes though now. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, does that get you into trouble sometimes? Like, you gotta... uh, sometimes it gets me a little snubble wobble, but not all the time. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, yeah. sometimes though. But you gotta remember what you stand up for. Yeah. You know? What about like the the people that, let's say the haters or whatever? Do they, do you have to deal with this too, or? I don't really see many haters when I go places. Uh, if they are hating, they don't tell me. They don't tell you? Yeah. They yeah, don't yeah. tell me. So, so with um. Do you, like, the county jail and, and regular grocery shopping, okay, so the county, it's a different world, right? Like you're, Oh, well, yeah, the county jail is all men. It's all the men. The grocery store is big booty cinches, all pussy. Yeah, so, so. Yeah, like, so it's a big difference, it's a the big grocery difference. store. But, like, but the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. The world in, in the jail is a different world. It's like, oh, it's, yeah. It's aggressive, you're, you're on your, you're ready to fight It's just pretty right? much, you're, 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 in jail, you're going to stand up as you're a man, you're a gangbanger, you're going to stand up as a man. You're gonna protect your asshole at all times. Oh my god! So <laughs> pretty much, you don't want jalapenos in there. No, nah, I mean don't do no custer activities. But see, the, the, no custer activities. Ha, ha, what's what's uh, how many people got jalapenos? That's the that's the first motherfucker I knew in my whole life. Just one person. Yeah. So what happened? Did like he did? Did he? Do well, he went in debt. He went in debt. When you he go in debt. debt in prison, it's like, hey. You're buying shit, you're buying drugs, you're buying alcohol, you have no increments oh, to buy it. he was buying it. Just buying a whole bunch of shit and just ran his debt up over $555. They let him do it? I mean, they're going to let you do whatever you want to do. But then when the fan comes and they say, shout out to the great Southsiders, they don't play no games. The Southsiders, when the Southsiders yeah. say, hey, Holmes, uh, where's our fucking money, eh? You don't have their money, oh, they're going to tell your people. Once they tell your people, your people are going to fuck you up. Now, you go back there and you don't want to fight? Well, that's where jalapenos go in your asshole. What? This guy, they took him in the back to fight. They tried to swing on him. He just fell to the ground and started screaming. He didn't even get hit yet. So that's when they grabbed him and spun him around and beat him real bad. Damn. Yeah. Was he like a skinny guy? Or no, he was just a little, 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 little stocky, just a pussy. Oh, man. So yeah, he was a pussy guy. They started calling him jalapeno cake. So that's what I told the guys. I said, hey, look, he's here. I'm not, I'm not harvesting no custard, right? In prison. But I found out he goes home a week after, well, see, five me, I go home a week after him, so I was able to make sure nobody 
put no more jalapenos in his ass. Oh, so you were like his bodyguard? Like I pretty much was the bodyguard, but I pretty much just didn't want that shit to happen around me. Because it happened around me, it makes my name look bad. Yeah. So once I heard yeah. that shit was going on when I moved into the dorm. He said nobody's messing yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah, that thing, not next to me. I can't let this shit happen while I'm here in this dorm. Yeah, so was With my it, reputation. What's the dorm? Like, it's a. One, two a people? dorm? No, no. A dorm is about 50 motherfuckers. We got bunks in there, but everybody's on the bottom bunk. Ah, okay, okay. It's a dorm living. So he was there, and, like, you know, you got tired of everybody picking on this guy? They still picked on him when I got there, but I let them know. I said, hey, look, I'm, I'm here. Y'all gonna leave him the fuck alone. But he owed debt, so what do you do about his debt? Did he pay? Oh, no, he just put jalapenos in his ass, but what they liked about him is he didn't tell. Kept his mouth shut. Yeah, right. Yeah. So they let him stay. Yeah. Nice. So, so what should he should he have done? Should he have just all he had to do was he should have fought back and got that that DP that beating like I got in the Fifty Fifth Street Alley. But see, he should have got his beating. When you don't fight back, that's how you get beat up more. No, you that don't. As a kid, you know, like, if you don't fight back, then, yeah, they're gonna keep beating the hell out yeah, of you. Yeah. So you got to fight back. Yeah. Yeah. So like. And they realized he wasn't gonna fight back. So how are we gonna take advantage of this fucker? So the kids these days, like in in the schoolyard. You know, you got to defend yourself. You know what I mean? You, if you, if yeah. you don't defend yourself, you're going to get beat up more. I would let kids you know? know, yeah, you got to defend yourself against different bullies, bullies and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, kids. Uh, you know, um, yeah, you got to defend yourself, kids. You got to you gotta swing them knuckles. Yeah. You got to. Because once you do that, yeah, you might get your ass beat, kids. But guess what? I'm going to let you know, kids. Those people will respect you. Yeah. So you get your respect. You get your respect yeah, when yeah. you squabble back. Yeah. And now, how about the prison guards and all that? Did they like give you respect too because they saw you? Oh, the, the prison guards was all right. They they never had a problem with me. A lot of them, they they their family, they watch my videos and stuff. So I, you know, they yeah. already knew exactly. Yeah. You know. So the other day I was talking about to my friend because I'm originally from Miami and I saw the, the shout out Miami, Florida. Shout out Miami. Um, Rick Ross was a, a CEO. I remember growing up. I'm, I'm, you know, and Rick Ross was one of these prison guards, and now he's like a famous guy. But like, no one gives him. Well, a hard you time. got no. You got to look at it like this, though. A street police officer and a prison guard is totally different. Uh huh. It's not the same thing. Yeah. People don't look at it the same. The prison guards are more down to earth. No, a prison guard is not a, a police officer on the street. A prison guard is just somebody that works in the prison. It's just yeah. a guard. Yeah, yeah. You got different people from different hoods that are actual prisoner guards from different gangs. Uh -huh. The prison guards, it's a job. It's a job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they're still like patting you down and like, you know, they're still like making sure you don't have like a pencil in the jail or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but it's not the same as the street police. The street cops, yeah. 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 It's not the same. So, so Chris. I don't know how to say it about Rick Ross. I like his music, though. His music? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you like Rick Ross' music? I used to, yeah, yeah. So like, you I know, mean, you're from Florida, so guy, yeah. yeah, he he's so. he's uh he's somebody uh, five minutes out of your yeah, state. Yeah. yeah, like I like the song, you know. He has like hustling. I used to listen. To it. it makes me want to like be productive. You know, every hustle, day you know I'm mean? hustling. Yeah, yeah. That was a hit record. How wouldn't you yeah, like yeah. that right there? Yeah. Oh goddamn! Yeah, to drop hustle. the goddamn soap. Yeah. So, <laughs> don't drop so, the soap. Yeah, no, she don't said, drop. don't drop the goddamn soap. <laughs> so th is that, no, uh, that wasn't the soap. What was that? Is that true? In prison, they really do drop the soap like that? You got to watch I, I've, I've heard the stories. I've never seen anybody drop the soap. I've heard the story, though. Yeah. So, it's probably a myth. Yeah. i will so, say, if you want to drop the soap in prison, you intentionally want to drop that motherfucker. You just got to just... Uh, you want to intentionally drop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So with prison, okay, you got the different levels. You got the county jail... You have, uh, what's the next one? Wayside. But if you're a real man and you drop the soap, you could bend over and pick it up. Nobody would fuck you in the ass. You just, uh, just minding your business. Mind your, your business, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. I dropped my soap. Mind your business. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's so, how that goes. But with, with, uh, are there different, okay, so the, the LA County Jail, is it harder, more fades in there than like the prison? Or? Well, the prison is most so, uh, every race respects everybody. It's not so much as far as the LA County Jail is you from where? We already we fresh off the streets. You from where? I'm from here. You from here? But we gotta get it in. That's just how the LA County That's Jail all it is. is. It's like where are you That's from? That's how it from? is. But it's your respect. It's what you respect and what you live by. You don't want to go home, or if you ever get a lot of time, you don't want to just have a ba have bad reputation on your name. You want motherfuckers to see you. Oh yeah, yeah. That's my enemy right there. But I respect that motherfucker. Oh, right so here. you can be enemies. But yeah, respect. hell yeah. yeah, you, yeah you fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you fight. I I heard you tell a story saying that like. In the prison when you left, everybody was clapping. Everyone said, "Oh, I respect." You. Yeah, they respect. I, I they respect. I was going home. Even you know, and, yeah, yeah, 
No, you know, because they, they, they seen I was, I, was pretty, I, was, I was cool, yeah. Yeah, you're, so. I stood up for myself, So, you, so yeah. basically, okay, so you're a man of your word, you're, in, you're, you stand up for yourself, you're always going to take a face. I phase. feed the homeless. the homeless. So they respect you, even your enemies. Yes, they do. Yeah, so. Because <laughs> a, a lot of my enemies are, enemies are homeless. Yeah. And they live in tents. That's right. Yeah, that's crazy. So It's called LA. down on your last luck. Yeah, that's crazy. So Yeah, the gangbanger didn't work, now you're sleeping in a tent. So that is, so that's a that's an LA thing, right? A lot of these like because in Miami, I, when I was growing up, there was no tents there. This is no like, LA. Uh, it's summertime. People don't want to pay rent. Let's keep it real. They don't want to pay no fucking rent. So they rather live in a tent. Yeah. And that's the most dirt baggy shit in the world. But I let the, I go down there and feed them because I still love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I wouldn't live myself in a tent. Yeah, no, that's that's that's. I would stay in a. I'd, I'd hustle to have um, motel rooms until I found an apartment or yeah. something like that. You know. Yeah. yeah, so, so like, um... Or go you, sleep on my homeboy's couch. So my King Five Fingers voice. Uh-huh. So you were saying, um... <laughs> yeah, you can sleep on the street, shit. In, in Skid Row, they, that's... So what, what goes so on in Skid Row? There's so many programs. There's so many programs down yeah. there. You motherfuckers choose to live in a tent because you guys want to get high off crack all day. So they have housing, but they choose not to have housing. They don't want it. They don't want it. They because, don't want the help. Because they, they got to get sober. They got to get sober. Yeah, so they'd rather they rather not. They smoke rather, crack. Yeah. Smoke crack and you smoke and crack in the program, they'll put you out in the middle of the night, a lot of those guys. And then guess what? You're in the cold. Yeah. Might as well just get a tent and smoke crack all you want, right? I don't know, hey, man. Fuck it. Uh, that's not, I was never a tent person, you know? I don't even uh, like camping. Oh, yeah. I've I'm never been really a tent a person guy. myself either. Yeah, so. You know, but there's hope still with those people down there. That's why I no, feed them out the kindness hope. in my heart. Because there's a lot of hope and they can do a lot of different shit. Five, the community. Yeah. They can, you know. You know um, Iron Man, the movie? I do not. Was he uh, homeless? Robert Downey Jr. The was he Iron homeless? Man. He was on Skid Row. Yeah. Was he? Now he's a movie star. See it? Well, I mean, he was down on his last luck, and then he he got sober. Yeah. And then he's a movie okay, star. He got sober. That was yeah, the time. So he got yeah. sober. So so in Skid Row, they have these all... So people don't know. They got programs there, because we're going to go later and feed the homeless. Yeah, yeah we're so, going to feed them. We definitely are. We're definitely going to feed them. So like... What goes on? They have. So you were homeless. Can you let them know how you slept in your studio? Yeah, no, I, w I mean, I wasn't homeless. I was grinding. Oh, well, we take. I apologize, people. Grinding, was not homeless. Grinding. Like the song Nipsey Hustle? You was grinding. grinding. You was hustling. Yeah, so um, I started this new thing with stock trading, and I decided to spend 15 to 18 hours a day studying. Yeah. And I would lay down on the floor so tired. And then in the pandemic, all the gyms were closed. Oh, yeah. So I had to go to Skid Row, the refresh. Just to take a shower. Yeah, because uh, the hot showers though, huh? It was, it was hot for five minutes. Oh five, right? fuck! <laughs> five minutes, they time it and it turns off. Oh, that's bullshit. That's why. That's how yeah. they treat them down there. Yeah, it's five minutes and it's, it's a. That's terrible. A line. So I would go there at eleven p.m. <laughs> eleven p.m. A shower. five minute shower. Five minute shower. That is terrible. Yeah. What the just, fuck can you do in five minutes? So I would just go there five minutes and get get right back. But um, that's only three blocks away. But the subway station was closed. Have you so seen guys go fight over the showers? I bet you have. I saw someone get shot over there. I saw oh, over there. the shower? Not over the shower. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't see it. It probably happened, but I didn't see it. Yeah, I mean, that um, five-minute shower is not much. No, nah, uh, that whole area is really crazy, man. It's really crazy. People are really down their luck. No, but I've, I've seen it firsthand. So, but like, you I know, know how I look at it? They give out low-income housing and different programs and stuff. People can get their own stuff also. Yeah. They just don't strive to do it. So when I do come down with pizzas, uh, Lupe's tacos, you know, stuff like that, yeah, yeah. I do it out the kindness of my heart because I know a lot of people don't have stuff, you know. But also you got to let these people know, hey, I'm here, I'm home, I'm helping you guys, I love you guys. I don't even know you guys. I love you guys, I'm helping you guys. Hope you guys enjoy this great meal. But let y'all know we still care about you guys, but uh, wake up now. It's time to wake up. You see there's people that still care about you. Wake up. Yeah. You can do it. Don't just die in that fucking tent smoking crack. Yeah, no, and that's what people do. I've, I've seen them pull out Don't do dead it. people out of there, you know? It's crazy. Don't die smoking crack in that tent. Yeah, nah. You know? So, or so, getting fucked in the alley by trannies in the alley. Oh, man. It's don't die. Yeah, 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 don't do, yeah, don't do that, no. Yeah. You need a, um, they could, they could go to school and find them a little trade. Yeah. But uh, they can do a lot of stuff. It's just, like I said, a lot of them don't want to live in those programs. Yeah, no, so what do you think is the, is the most craziest drug that people are doing is it meth is this the problem or fentanyl? i heard the fentanyl was fentanyl. terrible they said it's like chase the dragon chasing the dragon what's that like what does that mean i don't know um an og south sider told me this uh he told me 
and uh, Tracy the Drag, Chasing the Dragon, it kind of meets. Uh, oh, he was um, from West Side Wing Miles. Yeah, named yeah. Madball in danger. They told me this in um, in prison and uh, C East and uh, Delano reception. They told me, chasing the dragon pretty much means people they get high, but then they're already high. But how much higher can they get? So it's chasing the uh, dragon yeah, means yeah, you're gonna yeah, keep yeah, going yeah, 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 yeah. and keep going until yeah, that's until crazy. you just rest in peace. Yeah. So Crip Mac, yeah. I saw recently you were on a with uh sharp and these guys talking to a bunch shout of out sharp. Shout yeah, out sharp sharp yeah sharp I, I like i like sharp. i found out about a sharp's um old podcast when he did in skid row uh what's that guy's name sharp is a oh, really under white belly uh, yeah. a white underbelly sharp is a really humble man he'll feed the homeless yeah, he has a yeah, good heart yeah. he cares about people i know yeah, that about absolutely. Sharp. but you guys were talking to a bunch of girls so like yeah. What do, you, what do you think about a bunch the girls? of whores? A bunch of whores. So, what do you think about the girls these days, like on OnlyFans and all this kind of stuff? I mean, you gotta take care of your kids. You know, if that's what you gotta do, you gotta do your OnlyFans. You gotta get your coochie and asshole busted open by <laughs> fifty five hundred men. I guess that's yeah. what you gotta do. Just take care of your fa your, your family. I guess. You know, five each is on. Any sitch I'm with, she's not gonna be getting fucked on OnlyFans doing all that old shit. I'm leaving her. So you, you oh, yeah. okay, so you can't, you know, so there's got to be nah, a, 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 nah, a if you're, if you're my sitch, you're not doing that. Now, if, you, if you're on OnlyFans and you're my sitch, you're just playing with yourself, well, that's cool. You ain't getting big dicks in your coochie and asshole at all, so you, it's not considered cheating. So it's all right, you know? Yeah. Other than that, though, you know, just just keep it 50 so, so, so the girls on the show, what, did you when you told what them I, that? They're trash. I said they're trash. I meant it. They were yeah. trash. <laughs> I told you fucking trash. And what'd they say back to you? Why? We're not trash. You're trash. It's fuck. So these days they'll tell you, oh, you're insecure. I, I'm. I. This is normal. I can go on OnlyFans. You're. You're. You. You're insecure. No, no. A woman I'm dealing with, she can go on OnlyFans, but she's not having sex with anybody. She can just show herself. Yeah, yeah. Just do that, I guess. If you want to make a couple extra dollars. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever do like um dating apps and stuff like Tinder and? No, I don't do shit like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, you 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 have a you're in a good relationship. I'm in a nifty relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I play fair. I play fair ball. Yeah, so how do you like being a, a man in a relationship now? Well, I guess it's all right. I dress a lot better. I don't wear just a whole bunch of gangbang shit all the time. She dresses me a little better. So. Oh, yeah, so like you, you wore, so like there's a uniform to the gangs, right? It's mm -hmm. like blue. I wear, yeah. And the but chucks? That, yeah. I dress a little different, a little style, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I can hit my seat oh, nasty. You're not wearing chucks right now. No, no, no. Just some nice blue shoes, some blue strings, <laughs> white shoes, blue strings. Uh, okay, so a little oh, style. Nice, yeah. So that you switch. She them dresses up. me up a little yeah, stylish. Yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. What's your uh, favorite shoes? Whatever Lily Cakes likes. A uh, Lily Cakes, okay. Yeah, so. She likes because if, if I don't wear what she tells me to wear, a nice clothing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I go on pussy uh. probation, <laughs> and I don't like that. Oh man, it sucks. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. yeah. So when you yeah. came out of jail, uh, she, 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 you were with her the whole time? No, I was uh, in jail. Uh, she was there five me out. I was dealing with somebody else. She got rid of them. She got the, got her out the way. And she showed me she could do more. She could help me more. Came home with a brand new apartment. Had all the cars ready. All the kids was already in the house. Everything set up. Like, oh, shit, I'm already home. We got a nice yeah. place. I'm like, this is going to work. This yeah. is great. And she knows I'll come home. I'm making the good increments. And she do got her little job. Shout out Lily Case. <laughs> Shout out Lily Case. Yeah. So, <laughs> so um, how was it like getting out of jail? Okay, so you went to jail for 11 months, you said? Yeah, yeah, a little short, a little 11 months. 11 months. And uh, you had to take fades every day. Was it stressful? Um, It wasn't every day. It could have been every few days. Because you just fight until more people come into the dorm. Does it get, like, enjoyable after a certain point? Is it like, oh, let's it's, do it? It's just competition. Okay, so then then you finally get out, eleven months, and so how is that when you get? Is it like is it like a really excitement? Like oh, hell I'm yeah, out. that's exciting! I get to have some sex with a woman, some yeah. pussy. That's yeah. very exciting. So how, whatever how, I want to eat, good beer. You don't get beer in there. Right. You don't get beer in there. Oh, you get crypt juice in there, right? You, you can make gel alcohol, but it's nothing like so old English. What is gel? People can make gel alcohol. They can if they put it together the right. Don't you have to have like oranges or and like Ty some all types of fruit and shit, and they rot it, and they put that shit fly together, and boom, bam, you it's, get it's, drunk. It's strong. It's strong. Yeah, but it, you, know, you get drunk, you, you load it, and then it, it, it just goes away. <laughs> oh, it just goes away. Like, is it short? Like, is no, it, no, it depends how many bottles you buy. Yeah. Oh, so that's what happened to the jalapeno guy. He he. He went in debt on alcohol. In debt. Okay. In, in drugs. Also. Five hundred dollars. So like, how do you pay five hundred dollars in prison? <laughs> 
Well, he, he, either th he, his people should have sent a cash app oh, or okay, JPay. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, people have cash app and they can put yeah, money on yeah, the yeah, JPay. Yeah. Prison has worked just like out here, how people have increments sent in different places like that. It's just like that, but pretty much he didn't have nobody to pay the money. And, and people can, like, use the internet there and do FaceTime and all that? Oh, uh, no, only prison tablets. They have prison tablets oh, they have in tablets. prison. Okay. It's like a prison tablet the prison gives you where they monetize everything you do. Yeah. But you can take pictures. I mean, you can do video chats with your family. And yeah. Like, That's fun. Yeah. That's so, fun. Yeah. So, but not in the county jail. This is prison. No, just prison. Yeah. yeah. It's only California prison at that. I don't know what other states have prison tablets. What about Florida? I don't, I, I don't know. I wasn't in prison in Florida. so. No. You, have you been in prison in California? No. no. Not yet. Well, you're not <laughs> going. I said not yet. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to You go. stay cool. Stay but, cool. But you, if, Prison's not I, cool, I fans. Don't up. go yeah, by no, prison. It's not cool. It's not cool. But, but Only if you like boys. <laughs> but if you like women, don't yeah. go by prison. Stay out of prison the best you can. So, but it, but uh, now I know the rules. If if, uh, if I were to be in that predicament somehow, like you got to stand in up for debt? yourself. No, it's just, you got to fight. You got to fight. You got to yeah. brawl, like you yeah. say, a brawl. Yeah, you can't turn down fades. All right, so let, let's say you're in, 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 in the prison, right, or the jail. You meet uh, Mr. Lovejoy outside there, right there. You got a squabble cub. Still got to fight. Three hundred forty. You got a fight cub. And it's not fair. No, no, you got to fight Mr. Lovejoy. But after you fight Mr. Lovejoy, after he beats the fuck out of you, <laughs> it's over with. And guess what? You have the most respect in there because Mr. Lovejoy is a big motherfucker. And but then a lot of other people so are like, yeah. I'm, I'm 162 pounds. Mr. Mr. Lovejoy, Lovejoy is 3, 340, 350. He's, he's, definitely, he's 200 pounds I more than you. And you're a lot bigger, too. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm 286, too. But he is, uh, he's 340. How tall is he? 6'5". Six, 6'5". Five. Six, five. <laughs> so, <if, laughs> so if I have problems with Mr. Lovejoy in prison, I, get, I can't turn it down or else I get you out. you got to fight yeah. Mr. Lovejoy. It, if you don't fight him, let's say, hey, <laughs> possibly maybe you guys can apologize. It could happen depending on the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? People won't say nothing about it. So you get knocked out. Okay, so I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I get knocked out. You go out. find a hospital. That's the I worst can that could happen. <laughs> or if you scream loud enough, the uh, CEO will hear you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I won't scream. I, I'm Help! Out. <laughs> <laughs> you better scream. See, fire your jaw gets defraction. <laughs> you know, Mr. Mr. Lovejoy, Lovejoy's hitting no, hard. Sure. I, I, I know. I, I spar with Mr. Angle Lovejoy. Boxes, yeah. And he's heavy, so when he hits you, it's like, fuck. <laughs> but it'll toughen you up. Mr. You fight with yeah. Mr. Lovejoy, you'll definitely... Anybody else you fight with won't ever see a fucking competition. You fight with a motherfucker like him. You get it, though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not going to compare. It would never will. You fight, if you fight, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so you go to j jail, you face the guy that's way bigger so than you. So get, you're getting up the L.A. County jail bus, and you're in the holding tank, and Mr. Lovejoy walks in. He says, hey, you. Yeah, he says, hey, you, motherfucker. He takes his shirt off. <laughs> Guess what? You better fight, Mr. Lovejoy. <laughs> And so I have no choice. So basically, I just you have take no my choice. shirt off. I take my shirt off, and I'm like, all right, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you definitely have to fight Mr. Lovejoy. Nah, I mean, Especially if you gangbang. No, nah, I'm going to do it. If I'm you gangbang and Mr. Lovejoy is from your enemy hood, you got to fight Mr. Lovejoy. Yeah, you know, it's Mr. Lovejoy. Done, you know, so yeah, you, that, that's, I respect that about you. <laughs> I respect that about you. So you would do it. You, I would you do would it, fight. yeah. I'll do that. I, I respect I'll go to it, man. Hey, sure. hey. For sure, I'm going to the Hey, goddamn, I respect the shit out of you. You know? That's great. Because, like, you know, you, it's about your respect. It's your respect. Your dignity, respect, you know? your respect. What yeah. you stand on. Yeah, what you yeah. stand so like, by. So if, if I... I'm yeah. not going to get myself in that situation. But if I were in that situation, I got to face it. Face it you you know? got to. So, yeah, you got to. Yeah, yeah, so... If you don't not, want motherfuckers to think you're a weak man in, in jail. Yeah, no, that's, that's the worst. And then you got you to gotta no, be then there. You're, look, after that, then you have more people that want to beat the hell out of you because you're yeah. a pussy. Yeah, exactly. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> so the best thing to do is fight Mr. Lovejoy and just go find a hospital. When you get out the hospital and they send you back in the county jail, you'll have a lot more respect after you get your jaw wired fixed. So what's the worst situation you saw someone get beat up? Like they got paralyzed or like what's the no, worst? No, I've seen somebody get hit so hard in the motherfucking county jail where they call a seizure. I've seen that. Oh, so man, you got boom, boom, bam, bam, boom, 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 and, that was, and then how'd they come back? With respect? Like people They respect. came back with respect because they squabbled. They got it in. They didn't stern it down. They did no custer shit. Yeah. They wasn't no custer. My fist gets five shaking when I get around custers. My homeboy, King Five Finger says that. But also, I want to shout out my homeboy, Baby Sino, one of the older generals from the hood, one of the big homeboys. The hood. Yeah, yeah. Him and Baby Snaps, of course. Yeah. Hood, shout out Baby Sino and Baby Snaps. Oh, man. So... Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, so in real in real life, once you get so how do you get yourself out of the jail mentality when you're out of jail? Like now you don't gotta fight anymore like that. No, no, you you gotta you gotta worry about your your your, your girl, your kids and stuff like that. You gotta worry about paying rent and bills and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. In jail you don't have to worry about getting your girl, rent and bills, all that old shit like that. You just gotta worry about your name and your respect. Yeah. Your tattoos, what you stand on. Yeah. Because all you got in there is them fucking jail clothes they give you and whatever they call you from whatever hood you from. That's all you are. Yeah. All you is. That's it. And, and how about this celebrity boxing thing? How'd that turn? Well, out? me and Costco. Costco, uh, he uh, politely disrespected Lupe. You know, Lupe, that's my uh, home nice girl and nice my lady. king five fingers away. He politely disrespected her. I, 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 told, I told Lupe, like, I tell Costco. Like, all right, bro, we're going to make it happen. Yeah. No, so, yeah, we're we going to take care of that. We're going to make that happen. Didn't he, like, have a, he, how do you, how do you, is he, like, a good boxer? Or he doesn't really, <laughs> if you he's call out of shape good, a little bit, you know? He doesn't even swing or punch. <laughs> oh, man. He's the type of motherfucker that's going to stand there until the bell runs out, but I'm not going to let that happen. Yeah. You're going to stand there until the bell runs out. All right, Kel, I'm going to attack your motherfucking ass, just like under the wayside stairs. But after that, take care of that. We're going to have a good squabble, a real, real, real beating on neighborhood crap. And then we can go ahead and feed the homeless if he wants to feed the homeless. Yeah, yeah. If he tells me, no, he don't want to feed the homeless, hey, you just mad you lost, Coster. Yeah, so even even the enemies can feed the homeless. You know anybody, I mean? anybody can feed the homeless, no matter what hood you're from. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Awesome, Crip Mac. Well... We're going to end it here. We're going to get ready to feed the homeless now. We definitely we yeah. definitely are going to feed the homeless. We are going to feed the homeless. So it's Crip Mac and Costco. That's that's the issue that's going on. Yeah. It's going to see a pay-per-view on um, Triller. Uh, on Triller, okay. Yep. You know what Triller is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Triller uh, or Fight, F-I-T-E. That's what it is on. That's what it's going to see on uh on Hustle, so everybody could go get their pay per view. So, so you're doing a lot. You're doing celebrity bo- boxing. You're doing music. You're oh, doing I'm, do, I'm doing everything. I'm doing yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Oh yeah. I'm doing yeah, everything. I, you know, you got. To, how, so, how, how did you and China Mac come about? China, China Mac, Mac, that's my boy right there. That's my Chinese brother. Yeah. He's a great man. I like China Mac. China Mac helps me with a lot of stuff. Uh, and China Mac, he's actually there. You know, he doesn't scam and do weird shit. He's a he's there. He's a good man. China Mac. Yeah. yeah. Me and China Mac do well. We do great stuff together, you know. Yeah, because he's from New York, but I, I think he's here a lot now in L.A. I've he he told me the reason he moved out here is to work with me. Yeah, nice, That's, man. Yeah, so I came home from prison. China Mac was he's moving back to L.A. now. So, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing great things. we got some um, movies and stuff coming out also. We don't want to tell the people yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God yeah. Damn. oh I saw uh, a long time ago, before you went to prison, I saw the cartoons. Those were funny. Yeah. You still doing those? or? Oh, yeah, I'm getting them done. Would you like some old English? Uh, I'm good, man. I'm good. I, I, Audrey, come drink your old English, you fat guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah Audrey. Drink your old English. Yeah, drink some Cheers. old English. <laughs> All right. I need someone to drink with him. Cheers, Kermit. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Ow. Oh, yeah. How's it taste? Oh, sheesh. Yeah, it's a strong. So, so what is it, like 8%? <laughs> I used to drink uh, this stuff back in the day. You love old English. You told me you love old English. Yeah, so old E, I I heard about it from watching um, Menace of Society when I was a teenager. (laughs) Yeah. I used to drink this shit when I was a little boy. Take it out the refrigerator and drink this (laughs) motherfucking shit. Oh, man. So, like, but it's illegal in Florida. Well, at least at the time. I I think it's still illegal. No, they probably got some now. Maybe. Old English is trendy. Oh, they used to be 40s. The 40 was illegal. Yeah, because you could bust somebody in the head with that bottle. Yeah, it's a glass <laughs> bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what got you? It was old is an old school drink. All, I all mean, the, shit. Uh, uh, growing up, Mama Bear and them had old English in their refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah. So growing it was up. Just, it was just in the fridge. I, I find that shit. So, so West, I'll go West somewhere. Coast? Yeah, I'll go somewhere and I'll get me some old English. I was young. I'd get me some old English stuff. They was, they was, they was to you? They would not sell me it. No, no, they wouldn't sell me it. I had some older cousins or something like that. I'd yeah, make sure yeah. I, I'd make, cause I see everybody, I, I wanted to drink Old English. And I've been just stuck off Old English. I come home from prison, I say, God damn, I want some Old English, kill. <laughs> awesome. Well, you got Old English now. You can't get Old English. I want to ask Crip Mac a few questions. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, you want me to record it? Um. Yeah, come on, let's go. You can ask a few questions. Recording. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. I got some, uh, just a few questions for you. So, yeah. I have to know, Crit Mac, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? It's the craziest thing you've ever done. Craziest thing I've ever done? 
At least something that just comes to mind. I don't know. I don't do crazy things. You don't do anything crazy? No. You're just a normal guy. I'm normal. Yeah? <laughs> Nothing too crazy? So you, you wouldn't consider yourself too too much special apart from the, the average population? No, no, no. I'm a real nifty nickel. I'm real cool. I'm just, yeah, a, yeah, I'm yeah. just a comedian. Yeah, a comedian. You're a funny guy. Okay, so tell me, what's one of your most controversial opinions? No, well, well, no Custer shit. Don't do no Custer shit. You think that's controversial? I mean, you, you know, I don't know what that word means, but don't end up in the baby snaps alley. <laughs> no, <laughs> you heard it here. Don't end up in the baby snaps alley. So what happens in the baby snaps alley? Look, people get beat up real bad in the baby snaps alley. Uh -oh. Baby snaps alley is a treacherous alley. Uh-oh. You don't uh -oh. fuck up. You know, uh -oh. in the baby snaps alley. Yeah. But we, we did have some little whores that come through, and they like getting fucked in the baby snaps alley. No <laughs> way. For yeah. free? They never ask. No increment. Wow. And so, scale of one to ten, what do they look like? Uh, just, 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 I guess somebody is just, is just hanging on the road off of drugs. Yeah. Or fans. They're just trying to have a good time. Having a fans? good time. Yeah. Fans of the Crips. Yeah, fan, fans of the Crips. Oh! <laughs> Did you have any fans? I didn't have any fans. No. no. Did Ask you about Kazumi. Yeah, tell tell us tell us oh, about Kazumi. Kazumi, she's just an entertainer. She's an entertainer. Zaji doesn't know about Kazumi. You never met her? Uh uh, enlighten me. Oh, Kazumi, well, she just wants to get fucked by everybody. Oh. <laughs> Did yeah. you hit? No. No. Too that. good for that, or she too good for you? No, no. At, at the time, I just I didn't, I didn't I didn't do it. No. No. Do you regret it? <laughs> no, no, I don't. <laughs> All right, Krimai, what's the craziest place that you've done it? That you've done the deed. Oh, sex? Yep. Behind the trash can. No. Yeah. With Kazumi? No, <laughs> oh, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not with Kazumi. Now he's in a relationship now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's in a relationship. Yeah. But you guys, you know, you keep it straight. You know, you have the nice house, the yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, we yeah. got everything we want. So you're happy? Yeah. You want yeah. kids with her? Yeah, I'll probably have one baby with her, one baby. Yeah, just you going to put a ring on it? Not right now, but one baby. Yeah, well, you're gonna baby. give it a few years. I give it a, uh, about a year. About a yeah. Year. yeah, next summer, next May fifth. May fifth. That's the that's the that's the date you guys got together, huh? No, that's the five five who oh. day. In my king five fingers voice. <laughs> yeah, give us some more of it. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> yeah, you got to meet King Five Fingers. King Five Fingers. So so what does that mean? <laughs> Well, five figures is 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 is, 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 is the hood. It's, we thought five figures from Fifty Fifth Street, Fifty Crit. Well, it's five figures. And he's a homeboy from the hood. So, if an average Joe walks up to Fifty Fifth Street and throws up a high five, is he getting jumped? Well, I mean, not necessarily. I mean, that, yeah, I don't think they would just jump him. No. 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 It would depend on his demeanor. You know how he's acting. Yeah. Is he being disrespectful. Oh, yeah, disrespect, we're going to get his ass beat. Yeah, yeah, cheers to that. And Baby Snaps Alley. <laughs> baby Snaps so you don't want to end up there. No, yeah, no, you don't want to end up in Baby Snaps Alley. Wow, Alley. that's crazy. Yeah. So, controversial. We're going to go feed the homeless, not have sex with the homeless. I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of people, they only want to have sex with them. What? They only want to have sex with the homeless? They don't want to feed them? What happens when? So oh, I know a lot. Of the, I know a lot of the prostitutes working there are, are transgender. So what what happens if if someone doesn't know that the prostitute is transgender and then they find out? Oh God! And they have sex with them? If they're may, maybe if they have sex with them, they don't know. What would they? What would happen? What would someone from Fifty Fifth Street do? You're definitely getting put off. Oh you're, yeah. You're getting put off the hood. Yeah, you def. You having sex with trannies? Oh, we're gonna put you off. Oh. We're gonna beat the hell out of you in that baby snap, Sally. You'll be eliminated. Oh, you're eliminated. We eliminate costumes. Yeah, that shit's that shit's done with. And so, so in prison, if these guys who go away for life, what if if they want to have sex, do so they have to have gay sex? No, they don't have to have gay sex at all. No. So they so they just don't. No, they 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 just have to jack off the rest of their life, or you know, you got some guys that get lucky they can fuck the shit out those CO stitches with those fat asses. On the hood. Oh, does that happen? It's happened a few times. Wow, are good. they bad? I mean, they they they, they shit. They could look like a a, a, a fucking a, a pot, like a, you know, a like gorilla. But you can beggars can't, can't be. She could she could look like a gorilla with a wig on, but it's a piece of pussy. You know, beggars so, can't be choosers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but uh, having sex with a man is 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 is, is, is not it. No. So how old were you when you lost your virginity? Ah, oh, goddamn, uh, uh, about seventeen, seventeen. 
Oh, 17, yeah. Yeah, I was a little shy earlier in the year. Yeah, but yeah. then you kind of came out of your shell. Came out of my shell. So when yeah. did you fully become Crip Mac and become the man you are today? Oh, God damn, uh, about 18, 19, yeah. Is that when they took you to Snaps Alley? Yep, yep, took me to Baby Snaps Alley. Oh, yeah? Uh, and what they, 18 what did years they do? old, they took me to Baby Snaps Alley. And tell us one more time, what they do to you there? We got, we, we fight. We fight the Baby Snaps Alley. Yeah. Yeah, you got to get put on. Get your, uh, your initiation, it's called. Yeah. Yeah. So I've, so when you're in prison, have you seen people drop the soap? I've seen somebody drop the soap. And they, what happens? They, they didn't get fucked in the ass. He was in the shower in the prison. They, they dropped the soap. And they, you know, the soap is slippery. Yeah. So the other guy, he just, he just with his shower shoe, he just kicked it over to him so he could pick it up. Yeah, he don't want to see nothing happen. No, he didn't want to see, yeah. <laughs> That's why I think it, it might be a myth that soap dropping shit. Yeah, no one really does that. I don't think they do. No, yeah, no. you never you never witnessed much gay sex from gang bangers in prison. No, no, no. That you know that a lot of that type of stuff. Those guys they try to keep it to themselves. Keep it on the low key. Yeah, just because you just because your girl broke up with you or your wife doesn't want you doesn't mean you go fuck the punk in the ass. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might as well not even come back to the hood. Right, right. So you're a disgrace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and are, would you be a disgrace if you got the jalapeno thing happened to you? So what is that? If it happened to me? I, I, anybody, anyone. That's a very, that's a, yeah, it is a disgrace. That's that's the same thing. It's, it's fucking a boy in the ass. Oh, it's on the same level. A, yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. It is so, so you do something bad and you get a jalapeno up your butt. Yeah, it's like this, like you said, that life in prison, I'm not going to fuck no boys. Yeah. Yeah. No. Would you say I'm that gonna, I'm gonna jack off the whole right, most of the time, and I, I'm a nifty nickel. I'll get a CO sitch, and she'll damn sure give me some of that nifty pussy on West Side <laughs> Rolling. And I'm a teddy bear face. Sitches love me. On oh, hood. Cool. All right. Well. Yeah, real nifty. All right, let's like a crip blue bear. That's me. Nice. All right. Let's let's go feed the homeless. Perfect. Let's go feed the homeless. Not fuck the homeless.